Apocalypse.
kid, huh? Everyone is talking about you. Oh, are they? And what are they saying? Uh, nothing. Just that you're friends with that sociopath, Gary. Socio what? Sociopath. It means... Never mind. Forget I said anything. I need you to help me. Wait, you need me to help you? I've got some library books that need to be returned, but I'm too scared to go to my locker. Do I look like a librarian? No, listen, I need your help. Pretend we're friends. Walk with me. I'll pay. <laughs> I'll pay you two bucks. Two bucks? Are you crazy? Make it five. No. Two bucks? Great. Five bucks. Let's go, buddy. <laughs> Hey, Jimmy, did you ever play Grottos and Gremlins? It's really key. Pardon me. Hey, Alex, just you wait. You'll be sorry. Help me, guys. What's his problem? once this month. If I do it again, they'll never let me hear the end of it. Hey! Who are there two the people in that stall? I can't believe anyone likes cotton candy. No more messing around! Oh, How'd I do this? Oh, so good. Oh, Maybe now you won't make me mad. So listen, I really need your help. Why not? Thanks. obliged. Jimmy Hopkins delivers. I'll hurt you soon. I wonder, did the army receive my application? Stick it in your ear. Please, oh, so please. Shut up, Gary. You're such a jerk, man. Oh, am I, Petey? Oh, you're so cutting. I'm really upset. Actually, I think I'm gonna go cry. Then I'd be just like you. Cry, little girl. Oh, look out. <laughs> Here comes Jimmy. Just knock it off, Gary. 
You're out of line. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was hanging out in the girls' dorm. Silly me. Shut up, man. You're boring. Boring? I'm boring. You're none too interesting yourself, friend. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, both of you. I apologize, okay? I just get a little overexcited. Forgive me. Forget it. It's cool. Anyway, I've got a good idea for some fun. Let's go out and torment someone really helpless and unfortunate. That homeless guy. <laughs> come on. You coming, little Petey? Come on, I'm sorry. I'll give you a kiss if that's what you want. Shut up. Then come on. This is gonna be fun. Harassing some My parents are scary. Strict, I can only stay home from two. And you should be grateful you're not the victim for once. I guess. Hey, Jimmy, tell me about this guy. Does he like to go with his own hands? Fight me, you Gary. And you're a loser, Petey. One of life's unfortunates. Get out of here, you little scum! <laughs> <laughs> so I guess the rumors are true, Jimmy. Your dad does live on Come on, you jerk! Ow! Let's leave this guy to his welfare payments. Come on, let's get out of here. Just get out of here, kid. Why should I? Because otherwise I'll kill you. What's your problem? That's a long story. You got any liquor? No, I'm 15. Well, what about drugs? No. Then why shouldn't I kill you? All right, then, tough guy. Kill me. <laughs> you know what, kid? I like your style. You got guts. When I was on that ridge in Korea, watching my buddies get killed by friendly fire, I could have used somebody like you. Yeah? Thanks. But I bet you can't fight. You do me a favor, and I'll show you some real moves. Classified moves. Real special army stuff. Cool. Just get me a part for my radio, and I'll show you what the army taught me. What, like how to get shot by your own side? Exactly. Accidentally swallowed a switchblade. Get a job! Oh, you got a problem, hero? Intellectual stuff. 
So tell me, Petey, do you Come like on. watching the girls in their swimming costumes? Does get that fuel your filthy little fantasy? Gary, just get out of the way. Oh, Marion, show me your breaststroke again. Or wait, do you like the boys on the team? Yeah, right, Gary. Which is it, Petey? I see you guys are getting along as usual. I'm just toughening Ow. them up. Ow. Turn him into a man or a woman or something. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Petey. Ah, oh, peace, Dave. Good to see you. Listen, Jimmy, I need a favor. Bucky went to the auto shop to get some parts for his science projects. He hasn't come back yet. I think he might be in trouble. Please. Why don't you go yourself? I've got homework. <laughs> okay, I'm frightened. And I've got a weak bladder. Oh, I think the bullies might have gotten him. Please, I'll pay. I say do it. It's a good chance to show Russell who's in charge around here. Now run along, P-Stain, before you mark the carpet. Yes. We've got to take care of Russell and his boys. Then, after that, take care of all the other cliques. Soon, this school will be ours. I don't want the school. Yeah, well, I do, pal, and I intend to get it. Now go out that door. And what are you going to do? I've got planning to do. Knock it off. Sorry. Ooh. Stop. Uh, I live inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles profound